What's up guys, Tommy here and today I am bringing to you my first ever episode of the Formula 1 2015 Felipe Massa career mode. I'm looking really forward to this, we're going to be doing no practice, one shot qualifying and 25% uh, races. The uh, legend difficulty is on expert, uh, the legend difficulty is on expert, the AI difficulty is on expert and I'm going to drop down the game volume to half. But we're gonna go straight onto our one shot qualifying here. Um, on board the Williams. I do use full traction control and uh, full ABS, but I have everything else off. Um, gear is automatic, um, but brake assist, steer assist, all that's off. And yeah. So we're looking like we've got a. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. That my, my controller disconnects because you know that's good. But we carry on and it uh, looks like we've had a decent first sector so far of course we're not really looking to be up with Hamilton and Rosberg but P6 so far in the first sector it's not bad is it and now up to P5 as we drive through here obviously behind uh, the two Mercedes and the two Ferraris at the moment probably is what I'm guessing that we are uh, guessing who we're behind but I uh, take that corner pretty well and I move myself up to P3 I'm pretty happy about that obviously behind Rosberg and if I was to finish P3 I would definitely um, be happy with that and go for the win. Um, but through here, I, that that's my best part of the track, that chicane. I actually moved myself up into first, which is brilliant. And we're trying to hold on to this. Um, I'll tell you guys, this career mode isn't going to be the most realistic. Halfway through, I might knock up the difficulty one. So if I suddenly go from finishing the first, second every race to um, uh, what is it? To maybe finishing seventh or eighth most races then that's probably because I've put the difficulty up to legend but we round the final corner and uh, we go down and we actually do finish in second place which is pretty good considering uh, it's our first ever uh, it's our first ever qualifying and I only got this game I'm recording this on the uh, what's the day today the day is I don't even know the day. Uh, let me close on Spotify. I think the day is Sunday the twenty first. Sunday the twenty third, and I uh, I got this game on Friday the nineteenth. So, but I had all like the old F ones. I didn't have F one two thousand thirteen or two thousand fourteen. Had two thousand and ten, two thousand eleven, two thousand twelve, and Championship Edition. Anyway. Um, here we are just checking through our through our um, uh, strategy and we're getting ready we got one light two light three lights four lights five lights and we're off and immediately I move over to pull in behind Hamilton and Nico Rosberg sticks to the outside line tries to get past me and here we go as we go through the corner he stays on the outside line but I'm able to hang on to the place here and now I need to catch up to Hamilton because I definitely want that win. Uh, my target is to win so um, I'd like to win obviously, <laughs> I mean that's my target. Uh, but we fly through the first sector here, I'm just pacing it so quick compared to these guys, uh, compared to Hamilton and um, Rosberg and I'm catching up with Hamilton. You see here that was a brilliant corner. And uh, Hamilton was able to get away a bit through here because of um, he had a better exit. But I'm right up on the back of Hamilton here, and down here I'm actually able to uh, I'm actually able to you know challenge him for the place. And I actually moved to his outside here to see if I can grab the place off of him. And believe it or not, I take first place. I have taken first place on the Australian Grand Prix. And I'm buzzing at this point, and I'm going for it. I'm going for the win. The win is my target in this race. So you see here, back on uh, now to lap two. I go wide a bit out of the chicane, and Hamilton goes flying down my inside. I and but I'm still able to um, stick it round the outside here. And for some reason, uh, whenever the AI are on the inside and you're pressing them on the outside, they always back off. And you'll see that again later on with um i'm not gonna say who but it happens again later on in the race so i'm pushing now for this win we now go forward here to um it was getting a bit boring i was out there on my own in front so i just decided i'd have a look through some battles in the race so this is rosberg trying to get past lewis hamilton and uh, not being able to we then go on to q2 
Kimi Raikkonen, or is that Vettel? Uh, Kimi Raikkonen and Vettel uh, looking down the outside of each other. I think this might be Vettel actually uh, looking down the outside of Kimi Raikkonen or whatever, I don't know. But we have to go defensive on the inside here as Lewis Hamilton tries to push past and actually gets attacked by Rosberg in the process. And uh, you see there Rosberg, he's the one on the outside line and he actually, I think he grabs the place out of this, um, which was brilliant for him. And yeah, there you go. I don't know what the smoke is coming out the back of the cars, guys. Um, I have a, f I think that's where there is a bit of a glitch where they go if they go up on the well I'll, I'll tell you in a sec because we're back to the racing where Ross but there, there we go that, if you're on the outside line they're on the inside then they just they just back off um so if you go up on the grass then on the replay it will show you like tons of dust coming out the back of the car but Mercedes we're going into the pits now they've double stacked their drivers so at this point I'm thinking wow so Hamilton has no chance now of getting the win and I, I didn't think I would have started a race but a 4.5 second pit stop having to wait for um, Nico Rosberg and that's ripped that's passed behind him and that's put Hamilton way back having to wait for everybody else so he's in a lot of trouble back there now he's gonna have him and I think it's Sebastian Vettel are gonna have to make their way back up the field but we push forward here and um, at this point I got through um, the radio from my engineer that Valtteri had retired and sure enough there we go Valtteri has retired from the race which is a bit weird I don't know why he's done that but maybe he had an engine failure or something but right after that we're right onto the back of Nico Rosberg now and we're looking to the outside and it's going to be a perfect move and we can pull it off and it's getting very close I have one wheel up on the on the grass there but we go for the undercut undercut back to the outside here and there's nothing I can do except from just hope that I'm a lot quicker than him which I'm not so I have to back duck back down the inside and I you know push him a bit wide there he goes a bit wide and that puts me up into sixth place of the Grand Prix we then go forward to when everybody else pits which is the next lap and I was expecting to come out back in the lead but actually, I come out in second place, Kimi Raikkonen, you know, j just ahead of me here. And I'm going to have much better speed through here because of, you know, I've just come off of the corner. And um, it doesn't look like I'm really catching down the straight. I break a bit later than Kimi Raikkonen. Look down his inside. He's forced a bit wide and I have to, I'm having to go down the outside. I'm going to let him, I'm going to back off through there. I'm just going to let him go forward a bit and then get the running him down here. And I was hoping now that I got the overtake, and I did. I did get it down, and it was a pretty good overtake in my eyes. We're going to have a look on board Kimi Raikkonen at this overtake now. Um, you see here, you see me here, just putting it down the inside, clean overtake, and me coming across there, which wasn't as clean as the overtake itself. But we go forward to lap 11 now, where Kimi Raikkonen's pushing for the overtake down my outside. He actually gets it done, and once again. Um, I'm down the inside, he's down the outside. I'm gonna have to back off a bit here. Um, not as much as they, uh, not as much as the AI do, but I'm, I'm just looking all over the place, see if I can get Kimi Raikkonen, and, and I'm gonna look to get him down on the same corner as I did last lap. Um, but I go up on the grass and have a bad exit there as I tap onto the back of Kimi Raikkonen, which gives Rosberg the run down my outside, and I have to push him a bit wide there. And I know that's a bit of, that's a bit dirty, but. That's what I had to do, there's nothing else I could have done. We then push forward to later on in the lap just after the chicane where I've got the run on him down the back straight. And this time I do pull to the inside and unlike the last corner that I tried to overtake on, I get the place done. It was a bit dirty, I actually heard a, coll uh, a collision and there you go. And I went up on the grass but now we go to um, Rosberg and Kimi Raikkonen in a little battle here. Um, which is, well which is easily won by Rosberg to be honest but we lap 12 uh, I'm you know getting pressured and I asked for my fuel target and they say I only have five kilos left um, you might be able to hear this but I do go to uh, you might be able to hear them saying it but you might not and I just stick it into lean fuel mix um, then next lap 
I'm having to defend off Rosberg again as I don't get the best of runs through that corner. Nico Rosberg obviously has made it past uh, King Rokin at that point. And you see him here go down the outside and I'm having to, you know, back off here. Um, if I didn't, I'd hit him. I'd get a better run than him down the straight. Put it into standard fuel mix. We have a little bit of tap of wheels here. And uh, once again, I'm not able to get through, but we go side by side up here which is very scary when you're actually in the race because if you hit him you could get a warning slash penalty and you could spin out yourself but you see here I'm down behind him and just as we go over the DRS limiter I'm behind him and then I get in front of him DRS en uh, enabled and after that nothing really happened until the final lap where I come round the final corner not much fuel left but he does it Felipe Massa on uh, uh, in his first career mode race at Australia is able to take the win and you see him going out to the podium here with uh, Lewis Hamilton who actually brought it back out to third and Nico Rosberg who came second in the race um I oh know sorry Lewis Hamilton came second didn't he oh wow I didn't notice that until until now but yeah Nico Rosberg third Lewis Hamilton second and the winner of the race Felipe Massa you see me here celebrating with Lewis Hamilton and um, and Nico Rosberg, but with uh, with me up front, Hamilton, Rosberg, Raikkonen, Vettel, Grosjean, Ricardo, NASA, Science, Hulkenberg, Button, Maldonado, Verstappen. Wait till I scroll down and the actual thing. Uh, Ericsson, Alonso, Stevens, Perez, Mary, Kvyat, and Bottas. Anyway, guys, this has been Tommy. I uh, hope you enjoyed the video, and I'm out of here. Goodbye.